I'm from you guys. And this is the most annoying motherfucker. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway, you guys have been a great crowd. Thank you very much for coming out so much. We have one final comic. And uh, he's gonna be funny as fuck. This is my boy. I've been rolling with him since I started comedy. Uh, I put him in almost every show I have. He's put me in most of the shows he does, because those shows are far better than anything I should be a part of. <laughs> Everyone, I want you to put your mother loving hands together for my boy, Marcelo! That's like the hoodest thing I've ever come out to. <laughs> I love that song though, because there's like one part of the song where he says that like he would eat somebody's booty like a panini. It's just like, I was like, wow. It was the radio when I rewinded it. I was like, did he say he's gonna eat Rihanna's booty like a panini? Jesus, paninis are good. They're like, damn man, I wanna. And I brought these pops up here because this is like, I can't do shows at comic book shops no more. I spend more money than I make. Um, <laughs> I wound up buying two pops. Like, uh, I got one from Fraggle Rock and one from Gargoyles. Um, I got a thing for dogs. That's Bronx and Sprocket. You look that shit up later, okay? <laughs> it's funny, I wore my Ninja Turtle shirt. I asked my wife, I was like, what shirt should I wear? She was like, wear one of your Black Panther shirts. Eh. <laughs> Ever since Black Panther has come out, I got like 30 Black Panther shirts. Every time any type of occasion come up where you give somebody something, somebody gives me a Black Panther shirt. <laughs> I got like, I, they're not the same ones too, I don't even understand. I got good ones, I got bad ones, I got bootleg ones, I got Walmart ones, I got Target ones. I got so many freaking Black Panther shirts, and I don't even like Black Panther like that. I was more of a Killmonger fan. Somebody was talking about Superman. Did you guys hear that Michael B. Jordan might be the what? next Superman? Yeah. Yeah. Don't cheer for that shit. That's stupid. <laughs> y'all fucking retard. He's black. Y'all don't know that? Like, what is wrong with y'all cheering because I'm black? Huh, that's why. <laughs> also, this is the blackest comic book show I've ever been on. Jesus. Like, I've never seen as many black guys telling com Yeah, that's your fault, dog. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, I got, so, if you guys don't know me, my name's Marcellus, I have a, I have a Chinese wife, I like to say that, get that out the way. Woo! Um, woo, woo. Who cheered for the Chinese wife? <laughs> it's a few people, okay. It's sad, because if I was like, I got a black wife, no one would say anything. <laughs> Everybody just be all quiet, like, okay, nigga. Um, but uh, with, my black, with my Chinese wife, I have hybrid. I have a hybrid at home. I have a son. I call it a hybrid, not a Prius, okay? I know y'all was like, what does this car got to do with his Chinese wife? No. Um, and with the hybrid, I like calling them a hybrid because there's a difference between hybrids and like mixed. Like, how can I explain this? Um, if you call your daughter a hybrid, she might be a hot doctor one day. If you call your daughter a mixed girl, she's gonna be a stripper one day. <laughs> like, strippers are mixed, like hybrids are doctors. Get the, mark that down, because I know, where's the other nigga? He had a hybrid too. Like, it don't work for boys, it just works out regular. But when, when having a hybrid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and why is this mic? I can't move? <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Let me fix some shit. Uh, no, no, I got you. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm black, so I got to do my own shit. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, I got hybrid problems, so I got high. Let me let me explain some shit. Like we were talking about DC earlier. My son's favorite character, Cyborg. Woo Watch y'all woo. That's the most fucked up generic black character is. They just threw some computer on a nigga and was like, get out there and be next to Superman. <laughs> I, at this point, Aquaman is cooler than fucking Cyborg. This is bullshit, okay? And like, really it is, so it's bad. And my son, somebody else said that. When nerds have kids, we name them after comic book characters and shit. My son is named after Gambit. <laughs> like, his name's not Gambit, it's Remy, but... <laughs> the girl back there looked at me like I was stupid. She's like, you named your baby Gambit? <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta meet this Chinese girl who let you name her Gambit. Oh, no. um, his name's Remy, and it's funny because I'm like, dude, we a Marvel family. You can't like a DC character. Fuck that, man. And I asked him, I was like, Remy, why do you like Cyborg so much? And he said the saddest shit I've ever fucking heard, okay? He looked up to me and he was like, well, dad, I'm half black and I'm half Chinese. 
<laughs> yeah, nigga. <laughs> Cyborg is half black and half computer. <laughs> yeah, nigga. <laughs> Cyborg is the closest thing I'm gonna get to an Asian character like me, Daddy. If y'all not laughing, you consider the computer part Asian. <laughs> In my son's world, computer and black man equals him. Like, this is sad. We need more Asian characters, okay? This is bullshit. I was like, I couldn't even. I was like, let's go get you a cyborg character. Yeah, come on, let's go get you a poster, baby. Come on. <laughs> got cyborg shit all in the house. I gotta explain it to my Marvel friends. <laughs> this is a Marvel house. What's up with this, guys? If y'all don't know, like, black nerds, we still talk hood, it's just like... <laughs> like, when Vegeta, y'all watching Dragon Ball Super? Yeah. yeah! When Vegeta went Super Saiyan Blue, my cousin called me from watch. He was like, hey, cuz, did you see him go blue? Oh! They gonna find a planet of bloods and go hard on cuz, watch! And I was just like, are we still talking about anime? <laughs> He's like, watch, cuz he gonna crit walk on Goku when he finally beat his ass. <laughs> I wanna see that shit, cuz. <laughs> Ooh, I wanna, like, I wanna see if he hop, hop, skip, skip. I was like, oh, he's the oh! Um, I got hybrid problems though, like, what else? This nigga, he be doing weird shit. Like, yesterday, I, see, I'm trying to get him to be more black, cuz we around all the Asian people. And yesterday he was asking for juice, and he said, Hey, Daddy, can I get some juice, nigga? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and his, my wife was there, so she looked and was like, and I was like, I say nigga too much. He said, you can't, I had to tell him, like, nigga, you can't say nigga. He's like, Daddy, you say nigga all the time. Why can't I say nigga? And I was like, you're not that black. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take a couple of black steps back, okay? <laughs> you gotta earn your nigga card, my little nigga. Like, <laughs> you gotta go five more years and nigga them before I can, like, just throw that out there. <laughs> Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Um, it's so bad. Attack on Titan. Anybody like Attack on Titan? Woo! Woo! Yeah. Fuck Attack on Titan. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I got a problem being a black guy that's into anime. Like, there's not enough representation, okay? <laughs> well, didn't somebody talk about Mr. Popo? Eric, you yeah. were talking about Mr. Popo, right? It's bullshit. Okay, so I did a... Uh, we were at a comedy... We were at... What, what was the last thing we were at? The, with the cosplaying and shit? Oh, it was the Anime Expo. There we go. Um, <laughs> I was at Anime Expo and I saw the saddest shit I've ever seen in my life, all right? It was this little black kid and he was cosplaying. And I was like, oh, cool, little nigga, cosplay, that's dope. He was his favorite Dragon Ball character. Can you guess who the fuck he was? He was Mr. Popo. Even worse, he was in blackface to be Mr. Popo. Anytime you gotta put on blackface to be your favorite character, something's wrong with what you're watching, nigga. Like, I had to look at his mom like, he didn't do this by himself. Did you do this to him, bitch? Like, why? And then, you know, when I analyze Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, to defeat the villain, they have to go Nazi. They go blonde hair, blue eyes, motherfucker, like, that's Nazi. Super Saiyan, the SS, do I gotta put this together? Y'all wanna pay attention in history class, motherfucker? SS, blonde hair, blue eyes, this nigga, to, come on! All right, I'ma shut up, I'ma shut up. They used to be monkeys, come on, what the fuck? They, they gotta rip they tail off to win, like, I'm shaking saying this shit, it's, this comedy's killing me. Um, Oh, but no, but Attack on Titan, I don't got enough black represent representation. I don't, okay? So I'm watching Attack on Titan, I'm in season three and shit. I'm like, cool, all right, Attack on Titan. What happened to all the black people? Because <laughs> this is a futuristic timeline, you know what I mean? They're in the wall, there's number of white people, I'm feeling Trumpish, you know what I mean? Like, they built the wall, they got rid of all the minorities, they left, I, I figured this shit out, okay? Alright, they tackle Titan, they eat people, right? I don't know if you're watching it, they eat people, right? Black people taste good. <laughs> they ate all the niggas before season one of Stack on Titan. <laughs> they did, they ate all them niggas. They ate the Mexicans and Hispanics too. Apparently y'all taste good too. All that's left is a whole bunch of basic pumpkin spice tasting white people, okay? <laughs> that's all that's left in this fucking wall, all right? And it's bad, it's bad. Our society is over. We got one half Japanese chick named Misika and she's trying to save the world. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Anime, man. It's, it, it, I love anime, but anime don't love me. Hybrid problems. Um, anybody see the Fate series? Yes! yes. Woo! 
Oh, fuck. All right. I'm sorry. I love this series. I love this series. But once again, I'm on season three, all right? Uh, and if y'all haven't seen the Fate series, I'm going to sit down. I'm tired. I'm skinny, but I'm out of shape. I'm old. <laughs> um, so the Fate series, basically, you have, you're a, a character, and um, you have these avatars that you bring. And these avatars that you bring, you make a, like, it's kind of like Full Metal Alchemist. You make a seal, and you make this contract with them, and then a heroic spirit appear. I am King Arthur, and you're like, King Arthur, you're gonna fight for me, motherfucker. And he's like, all right, I'm gonna fight. And they're like, other heroic spirits come, there's seven of them, and they come and they all fight each other. Y'all know where I'm going with this, ain't no fucking black heroic spirits, all right? None, none, nigga, none. Yeah, look it up, there's none. I'm on season three, maybe season four there might be. I'm waiting for a Frederick Douglass or something, like. <laughs> That's the way I see it. Like, if I finally got into anime and I want a heroic spirit, I'd be like, come on, give me the best heroic spirit I can get. Frederick Douglass, what the fuck? What are you gonna throw a book at him? Or I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna get JP Brown, but in his real name, Namdi Kwame Brown. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Mr. Popo pops up. Hispanic people, the same thing for you. Ain't no Hispanic fucking figures or word figures either. You know to do it and like, Zorro's gonna pop up. You're like, fuck that. That nigga's not Mexican, cuz. Like, He's a Spaniard, like, Speedy Gonzalez is gonna pop up. You're like, fuck you! Arriba, arriba! Fuck King Arthur, like, come on. <laughs> Alright, that's my way, hold on, that's almost my time, let me... Um.